my name is Jason Gray. I'm the business representative for uh, IBC Local 32 Atlanta, Georgia with the Elevator Constructors. For guys coming in nowadays, the process is you'll come in through an apprenticeship drive. Uh, you'll come in, you'll take an aptitude test. Upon completion of the aptitude test, we'll bring you in and interview you uh, and rank you on a list. Uh, once that list is established, uh, we call you to go to work. Uh, you go to work and you'll start our apprenticeship program. Uh, it's a five-year program. Uh, while you're working, you're also getting on-the-job training. Uh, that'll help to you be better ready to take the mechanics test once time comes. Uh, after the five-year program, uh, you're set, take the test, and you become a full-fledged mechanic. All right, uh, anyone coming in the trade now will, will make approximately $22 an hour. Uh, their pay increases as they go through school. So for every two semesters of school you complete, uh, you get a pay raise uh, up until you finished all four semesters and you are topped out at the 80% range. Uh, from there, uh, you need to take the mechanics test, pass the mechanics test, and then when someone passes the mechanics test, they'll top out at approximately $45 an hour. Oh yeah, this is a great field, uh, has a lot of opportunity for advancement. Uh, we have a lot of, anywhere you see construction going, uh, you see elevators, there's a need for elevator mechanics. So our future is definitely solid and stable. Uh, anytime you see something like this, uh, buildings going in, there's going to be a need for us. Uh, we have very good, good training, we have great training also. So what we do is, it can be dangerous at times, but we do put a lot of emphasis on safety and we have a good future ahead of us. Oh yeah, anyone who's going to be successful here is going to be a uh, self-motivated uh, person who uh, can be punctual, on time, uh, critical thinking, a lot, lot, a, lot of, a lot of critical thinking takes place. Uh, when we're out on the job, there's a lot goes into putting an elevator in or even uh, installing an elevator, servicing an elevator. So you've got to be able to think on your feet. Uh, you've got to be fast paced uh, and willing to be independent, uh, work by yourself at times, but definitely, uh, definitely motivated, self-motivated uh, and willing to learn. Right now, when you start, typically guys starting today will start in construction because we have a lot of construction going on. Uh, but from there, you can definitely move into modernization, which would be the uh, redoing, uh, pulling out and repair of older elevators. Uh, you can move into the repair department, which is any kind of elevator that breaks down but has to be repaired. Or, or ultimately, most guys' goal is to get into the service aspect. Service is where you are now taking care of existing elevators, taking care of buildings that have multiple elevators, taking care of a route that has a lot of elevators. Uh, so the career path can go a lot of different, a lot of different ways depending on what your skill set is and what you want to do. Now the toughest thing about this field would probably be the just handling the stress. Uh, because depend, depend, depend on where you are, whether it be construction, service, repair, uh, there's always a certain stress level. Uh, with construction, it's getting the job in on time uh, and being safe. Uh, with it's service, uh, you have elevators that are broke down and people are relying on you to get the elevator up and running. Uh, so I would say stress could be the, the toughest thing about this, but if you apply yourself and you know what you're doing, it's typically not that bad. Uh, there, I, there's no books out there. Uh, there was never a book I found for Elevator 101, but websites, uh, the educational website we use would be the National Elevator Industry Education Program. That website does give some information on what to look, look forward to, uh, what you can prepare for, and what to, uh, what to find and consider when, when thinking about this trade.